This is how you keep your employees engaged and committed. Respecting them. The more you respect them, the closer and the tighter is the relationship. Better communication. The more you communicate in a clear and concise and elaborate way, the less there's space for misunderstanding and there's more clarity. Involving them in whatever you're doing so that they feel there's a sense of ownership. The more they feel that, you know, their their opinion is respected, that they are taking part in what's happening, the more they feel that, you know, they own this relationship, at least on an emotional level, because this it's part of them. They're making contributions to it. You motivate your employees by making sure that whatever you're doing or you're asking them to do is meaningful to them. If it's not meaningful, then of course they will be detached. Technically, they might do it, but their heart and their soul will not be there. So by ensuring that you're explaining the meaning, especially, of course, we're talking about noble meaning, something that would resonate with them, something that they would care about, something that they think of as an honorable, you know, engagement. So the more that you are explaining to them or you are manifesting to them that what you're doing together is something meaningful, resonate with their soul, the more they will feel engaged, the more they will feel proud. You keep your employees engaged also by giving them a compelling vision, by helping them see the beautiful future or results that you're aiming for. That's why vision is so important. Communication is so important. So the more you communicate your vision of the beauty of the reality that you're trying to achieve together, then the more they will be motivated. Especially if that vision, if the creating the creation of that vision will also impact their life in a positive way. It's not something just about you. So let's take an example. Let if you tell them, you know, my vision that I'm going to be very rich, I'm going to have, you know, four palaces around the world and I'm going to live the best life and have private jets. You know, it's all about me, 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 me. Now, how is that? How is that motivating to them? Because it's all about you. Now, okay, it's a beautiful vision, but my friend, it's about you. But if your vision, if the way you express your vision to them is, that if this company becomes successful, you know, there will be profits and that profit, that level of profit will reflect itself on better income for everybody, you know, especially them. So through bonuses, through salary increases, through job opportunities, through promotions, through better working environment, through you name it. So they will see the benefits of the achievement of that vision on their life as well. So the point is, the more you make things relevant to them, relevant to your employees in terms of um, adding value to what matters to them, the more they will feel engaged. That's the real key. All of these kinds of, you know, motivation about um, sort of pep talk about success and all this, that's fine. But it doesn't really, really work unless you tie it to what it means to them, to their, to personally, to the employees. So there's nothing wrong with success. There's nothing wrong with all these flashy titles, but you have to tie it to them because why would they care so much if we're talking about real engagement and involvement about something that is external to them, that, you know, won't benefit their life. So also always keep in mind by explaining to them what's in it for them. So how do you keep your employees motivated and engaged? Start with the basics like respect, appreciation, you know, clear communication, um, good working environment, giving them the right tools, you know, the basic things, but then add on top of that, linking the success, the meaning, the purpose of the work that you're doing together to them also, so that they can see that all of this is good to them. And it doesn't matter, you know, at what level. It could be, you know, financially good to them, which is very important, of course, 
and people who say finances are not important I don't I think they're not in reality because people need money to live and to improve their re reality but also morally also intellectually also spiritually also ethically also socially because we're all human beings and all of these aspects matter to us so the more you can feed them on all of these levels the physical emotional social intellectual creative spiritual the more you can make your job or the work rewarding at these levels whenever it's possible the more they will be engaged